Hello guys, Baz are back again with another video and um, I'm going to show you the miniature that I painted probably the beginning of last year. Um, I've seen Nick from Midic B, I don't know what, what it's it's for, or oh, I can't remember, I did watch the video, but he said he's, he's shown you um, one of his favourite miniatures he's painted, and his paint, like how it's painted up. So I'm going to show you man I think it's so here we go guys it's basically a plain space marine ultramarine this um I've actually got an ultramarine army um it's in the cupboard somewhere but this was the one where I like I start, like stepped up my painting really or made me want to anyway so it's obviously blue I'll tell you which blue it is, and it just it is just ultramarine blue from Game Color. It's the best blue I've ever worked with. It's like one coat, thin down as well, and it just goes on perfect. You don't even you don't need multiple. Well, it might just be my bottle, but um, the gold was a bit tricky because it just kept flaking off. Like when I painted it on, and I went over. It just came off again, but I got there in the end. Um, I actually entered this into a competition, uh, Games Workshop Middlesbrough, where I came second and won some uh, clippers. <laughs> so I had the old yellow ones, and I tried to cut a metal cable with them, thinking, oh yeah, it'll be hard enough. No. Cable one, clippers nil. Now I in them yellow clippers, there's a hole, <laughs> basically, in the clipper, in the head. So I was quite glad that I won them really. So um, yeah, free-handed uh, the arrow in white. Obviously it's a tricky colour, I was quite happy with it. Uh, level of detail on the base for me I think is pretty good. I mean it's just the old Chaos Terminator Lord base. But I've just stuck a, like a Blood Angels helmet on there and Imperial Fist helmet on there with a gun. Yeah, I was just really, really impressed with how this came out. Like, see if I can get it a bit closer. There you go, guys. Put little dots in the eyes. Put, I think I put the wrong helmet for this body simply because that collar thing pushes the head up, so it looks like it's looking upwards. I mean, he's not—it's not positioned properly on there anyway. It should have been back there, but I think I rushed it a bit. But don't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah guys, I just thought I'd show you this, just for anyone who wants to see it really. Leave comments down below, uh, and I'll see you in the next one guys. Don't forget, like, rate and subscribe. Thank you very much. Ta-ra.